And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the A6, the AC electrical test, and I just took it about a month ago, and I passed it, and here it is, guys. So in this video, my goal is to help you pass it, and just give you some advice and tips to help me out. First off, I use this book uh, from, from Amazon. I bought it on Amazon. It's the Del Mar Study Guide. I'm not sponsored. They're about 20 bucks. They're pretty good. There's like some slight little issues with the, the study guides, but nothing major. I've passed all my tests, so I have to give them credit because, hey man, you gotta, gotta give credit where credit's due. This is the part I think that really helped me out. I really was taking notes in areas I didn't understand. At first, I was going online and on YouTube, and I was like looking up Ohm's Law and trying to get all like fancy with all my like electrical knowledge and electronics, and I was getting over my head. So then I started realizing let me watch people just troubleshooting cars with electrical issues and they were really helpful because some of the things you're gonna find in the test and I can't give you particulars is going to be uh, how to use a digital multimeter and they usually use an abbreviation DMM and so they want you to know how to check voltage how to check check a voltage drop let me tell you guys lot, that subject's very important. How to do a voltage drop. How to check resistance, knowing where to put the DMM at for ohms, and just understanding how to use that digital multimeter. Going back to YouTube, I looked at somebody disassembling an alternator, somebody disassembling a starter, breaking down the components, talking about them individually, and how to troubleshoot them and like common issues, and really knowing how a starter works, like all the way to the solenoid, the gear, how much, uh, a voltage it takes, doing voltage drops and all that. Understanding how that works is really important. Just understanding the table of like, you know, a kilo ohm. What is a kilo ohm in ohm or what's a milli ohm? So you just gotta make sure you know where those zeros go. Really understand how a battery uh, works. Also understand what's the minimum voltage a battery works. Understand how, how much voltage draw a starter takes. Just really get a good understanding of those systems in my opinion. Understanding how to read electrical diagrams. You really need to know what is on electrical diagram and what is not. You also need to understand all the symbols and you need to understand how it works. Definitely, that's definitely a subject you will see in a test. It's broad enough for me to bring that up. There is diagrams and the diagrams are all sorts and kind. So you need to start understanding those. Just know what the symbols are and, and, and there's a lot of like practice stuff on YouTube, on, on study guides and really understand that the schematics and the wiring diagrams is really something that you're gonna wanna get well versed with. 